Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome everyone back to another episode of CSGO News. This is the series where I show and tell you what's been going on in the CSGO community for this past week. That, of course, is going to have anything to do with the CSGO pro scene. Let's just say someone leaves and then joins a new team. It affects a lot of different things, especially the CSGO economy. We also talk about CSGO investments, where if they go up or down in a very short period of time, you're unsure if it's stable or safe enough to invest in at that point, or maybe it's very volatile. We try and give you enough information to give you the best answer possible, basing that on your investment. We also talk about CSGO updates, miscellaneous or not in upcoming ones that may happen very soon from rumors, leaks, and suggested data mines. And well, for today's CSGO news, we're pretty much going to be covering everything, but mainly stuff to do with the market, especially some major stickers. And of course, some price crashes with very liquid and higher tier knives. This is the very first CSGO news of 2023. And well, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button and of course, subscribe for weekly CSGO content. And here's a quick word from today's video sponsor, Skins Monkey. Today's video sponsor is of course, Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a place where you can buy or instantly trade your CSGO. CSGO skins for some new flashy ones. It has a modern, easy to use layout with multiple different filters, and if needed, it has a 24 7 live chat support team. All you have to do is make sure you have your trade link, and on your first trade, if you have a leftover balance, it goes towards your current balance, which can be used when you end up trading skins. If there's a skin you really, really want and don't have enough for it, there's an option where you can top up your balance, and if you deposit with cash, you get a 35% deposit bonus, which is very nice. This holiday season, Skins Monkey is offering one of the best deals I've ever seen across any single trading website. They've prepared free gifts for everyone. Christmas has come early. Now, as soon as you go on, you can get one of three things. You can get a completely free CSGO skin of really any single value, a 45% deposit bonus, which is 10% more than normal, being a 35 usually, or of course, a free balance on the site, which can be used to any item you want to trade for. The first gift is free, and others are unlocked through the trading website. So the very first thing I want to talk about is, of course, major stickers, specifically to do with Antwerp to start things off. Now, the main thing that's caught my attention is, of course, the Rocks Hollow from Antwerp 2022. This was a sticker that was once over $100, being market manipulated, being FOMO into eventually it started dropping down where now now you can see it it was at that $30 price point for a very very long time kind of went under my radar under my attention that it started going up to around $40 just the other day now not a whole lot were sold but they still went up to that price which was pretty nuts they're kind of going for 35 to 40 which is pretty interesting which is 10 more dollars than last month and the reason behind this is of course he is benched that's the main reason why which we did discuss I think in a CSGO news which would make sense why this sticker went up so much as it goes for investment probably wouldn't touch it right now very hot it's very FOMO-y and well what I mean by that is whenever a player retires or when an update happens like that it's like the dust 2 situation when Anubis was added in all the skins went up like crazy overnight this time around it's going to take probably another week or two for things to start leveling out maybe this goes back down to $30 but there's also an argument with this as well where these stickers are so great right especially some of these autographs like the rocks not a whole lot out there the supply is limited especially in how many you can open and maybe people might start realizing that these are decent investments so they could start going above $30 at this point. As it goes for selling, I don't really see a point to, especially if you don't need to in the next couple of years. Where Antwerp's going to shine the most is, of course, with those autographs, so I would just hold at this moment. Next up, we're going on to Rio, looking at the supply. Now, we're around three and a half weeks into this 75% off sale, a little over two and a half months into this full sale from when these stickers got added day one. There's not a whole lot on the market for a very good reason. There's just not any reason for people to buy these over something like Antwerp at this moment. Most of these hollows and most of these stickers that you're buying for Rio on the market, even even during a 75% off sale and how bad they look, because they're so low in quantity, they're actually pretty high in price. Just because they're rare doesn't mean you can set the price whatever you want for it. But I've seen a lot of comments recently saying people are just going into Antwerp, sometimes Stockholm, but mainly Antwerp because it's transparent. It looks similar to Stockholm. It's somewhat rare and just looks three times better because it is transparent, cattle like stickers, than Rio. So that could be a reason why you're not seeing a whole lot of these stickers and capsules getting added to the market. But I would take a lot of these with a grain of salt because I think people probably aren't listing them as well on the market that makes any sense next up i want to take a look at souvenirs this was something i talked about in a commentary the other day it wasn't that big of a deal but it started to get more and more heavy and well, what i mean by that is if we take a look at the ak gold arabesque which is in the dust 2 collection and when that got removed well people started opening these packages like crazy which definitely didn't help this case but it just goes to show how much souvenirs are meaningless nowadays and this is just from rio alone so the ak gold arabesque there's 146 of these things which most people would think at least if you go back a couple years to where you couldn't buy the souvenir packages this is how many there would be over the course of maybe four or five years if you couldn't buy them this is just with the Rio major alone and this is well devaluing the gold arabesque quite a bit and to compare this to something like the dragon lore okay which is pretty insane to consider there's only 114 dragon lores that just goes to show the rarity of these things is pretty meaningless and that goes with any souvenir going forward they don't really feel as rare as they once were because these things are going to be unboxed because there's so many on the market it's like printing your own money as it goes into the regular skins market well it's actually pretty good at this point it's pretty 
stable. The cases are pretty good. Nothing really changed enough for me to really want to talk about any of them. The only part of the skins market that is somewhat crashed is, like I said, the higher tier knives at the beginning of the video. I was looking around at some of my inventory just a few days ago on buff, and I talked about this, I believe, in last CSGO news, where the market crashed around 10 to 15 percent, but it wasn't for everything. It was mainly for liquid skins because of the Steam Winter Sale, probably because of the Rio Sale and a bunch of other stuff. Christmas doesn't help that as well, but my Karama Tiger Tooth, when I bought this last month, it was around a thousand dollars. Now it's eight hundred and seventy-four dollars on the market, give or take. If you want a good float, the one that I have anyway, it's probably around 900, 930 overpay anyway. It's still a little bit of a decrease. Now, why is that? I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think one of the reasons though is it was kind of bound to happen. A lot of these skins, mainly these knives, have been going up so fast and so much in a very short period of time. That's never a good thing, especially when you're looking at some sort of graph, especially as an investment. I bought this as a play skin, luckily, but I wouldn't be surprised if we start to see more dips very soon as well, because these prices are just very unrealistic in my personal opinion. Like these are the price crashes, right? I bought around here 983 to 1000. It dropped back down to 882. Here we are at 932 and it starts to go back down once again to 867, which is pretty crazy. Lastly, I want to touch on is patches. Once again, a very niche bubbly market that I don't suggest going into, especially unless you know what you're doing. Patches are a decent investment, but you have to know that you can't really sell more than a couple of these things at a time compared to cases or even something like a knife. They're not liquid whatsoever. They're very volatile as well. I mean, just the other day, the Virtus Pro patch was pushing $30. Now it's 10 bucks. The mouse patch was $20 a week ago. Now it's 35. Once was a time it was at 64 and the listing got taken down because no one bought it for 48 hours. Kind of get the point here. If you're going to go into them, patch packs are definitely your best bet. That pretty much wraps up CSGO news for today. A whole lot's changed, it seems to be. Probably going to make some updates on Stockholm and Antwerp very soon because every single week this past few months, it seems to be changing in a good way anyway. Hope to see more of that. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay positive, stay sexy. I'm out, guys. Peace.